Chloe and welcome back to our channel. So in exactly two days time, I will be going on camp. However, it is in the middle of winter. We are staying in tents. It's going to be pouring rain and I'm going to be freezing. So I'm going to camp for two nights and three days. So by the time you see this, I will already probably be back from camp. So I hope you wish me luck. <laughs> So as you have seen by the title of this video, today I will be doing a pack with me for camp. So let's just get straight on into it and see what I can and cannot pack for camp. Wait, where's my list? Okay. So we're going to start off by seeing what I can't take to camp. There's some sad things on this list, guys. I cannot take thongs, which are flip-flops or jandals. I don't know what you call them where you are. But I cannot take thongs, crocs, Ugg boots, tank tops and singlets. Leggings, denim jeans, makeup. Extra food including lollies. How am I meant to have fun? Soft drinks, jewellery, aerosol cans, pocket knives. I think that was self-explanatory. Magazines or laser lights. I don't know why anyone would bring a laser light. I can also not take mobile phones or any like iPad electronic device other than a camera. And it says if I bring any of these. If students are found with items, disciplinary, I can't say it, disciplinary action will occur and the items will be confiscated. Well, I'm not going to bring any of them, but now onto the stuff which I can bring onto camp. So the first thing on this list is a clothing thing and you need one to two, I'm just taking one set of thermal underwear, so not actual underwear, but like a thermal top and thermal pants. So back here. I went to Kmart, love a good Kmart, and I got some $10 thermals. Not sure if they're any good, but I guess we'll find out the hard way. So I got this thermal top, just a plain thermal top, and I just got some black thermal pants. And the next thing I have to bring is a pair of bushwalking boots slash shoes. I don't have bushwalking shoes, so I'm just gonna bring my runners and these are already really dirty, but when I come back, it's going to be so muddy. So it's going to be like disgustingly dirty. So hopefully I can just chuck them in the wash and clean them. Sad if I can't. Also just got this pair of black ones, which don't fit me. I also need one beanie. So I've actually got two because I know I'm going to drop them in the mud or something. It's Chloe for you. <laughs> one pair of warm gloves. Where are my gloves? So there's this store called Uniqlo and my mum and myself have never actually been to Uniqlo before and we went in because a friend told us they had some good warm clothes and they have so many different things in this heat tech range which is so warm and I'm really excited just to go somewhere cold so I can buy more of their heat tech stuff. But I got these gloves. I'm going to stay nice and warm. I also need two pairs of long pants. And these can't have like cotton in them. They have to be mainly like polyester or something. These tracksuit pants are so warm. They're from Uniqlo. The fabric on the inside is just amazing. I cannot wait to wear these. I'm actually going to be so warm. And then I also have these filler, feeler. Don't know how you guys say it. But these filler tracksuit pants. These are from Target. Again, so warm. Wear these all the time. Two warm t-shirts. Again, not meant to be like cotton t-shirts. So, where are the t-shirts? They're again right next to me, I swear I'm blind. So I have this really warm t-shirt from, this is one of the Heat Tech t-shirts from Uniqlo and it's just plain like creamy white, really soft. And then I got this one which is actually kind of cute, honestly, I'm gonna be real with you. This is actually kind of cute. It's another Heat Tech one from Uniqlo and it's like got a long neck so you can like roll it up. And the fabric is the softest thing ever. It's made from like, polyester which is like better if it gets wet because it keeps you warm i don't know but it's so soft and i'm so excited to wear this top three pairs of underwear they're in my bag <laughs> and i need three pairs of long wool nylon blend socks so i've got these socks again from uniqlo we're loving uniqlo here it's from their heat tech range again it's just two pairs of heat tech socks and then these socks from Kmart. Now, because it's the middle of winter and I'm going to be absolutely freezing because we're also staying in a rainforest or somewhere near a rainforest. Not sure if I mentioned that, but I have a few jumpers. So I have this first of all jumper, which I'm probably just going to sleep in. It's a big Adidas hoodie. It's very oversized, very comfortable. 
And then I also have this, uh, I'm actually in love with this in general, it's super cute. It's this uh, filler, filler, yeah, I still don't know how to say it. It's this filler, like, it's kind of cropped, so I'm going to wear something underneath it. But it's this fleece jumper, which apparently fleece is better for when it's wet and rainy. But it's got this little zipper here. And then the final jumper jacket I brought, it's actually more of like a hoodie jacket. And this is like kind of a bit of a windbreaker, but it's also really furry on the outside. And it has a hood, which is great for if it's raining. This is a, again from Uniqlo, it's a block tech wind... For Everything's tech from Uniqlo. It's a windproof jacket and it's actually, I tried this on the store. It is so warm and I'm really hoping all this stuff keeps me warm, guys, because I cannot explain how freezing it is. <laughs> so the list also says I need to bring one long sleeve shirt, but I'm actually just instead, as I mentioned before, just bringing two long sleeve shirts. And then finally, it asks for a pair of shorts. I've got these ones here, but to be honest, I don't think I'm going to take them because... I asked all my friends and none of them were wearing shorts because I don't know when I'm going to need shorts. I'll just keep them there for now just in case. Then for the equipment side of what I need, I will need a sleeping bag. So, where's my sleeping bag? Down here. My mum took the sleeping bag out of the case and she can't get it back in so we'll work on that later. But I've got this really warm sleeping bag. Apparently it's good for winter. I don't really know much about sleeping bags. Then I need one day pack, which is big enough for like my lunch for the first day. So that's down the back. Can't, it's too hard to reach right now, but I've got a day pack down, down the back. Then I need three strong, durable, large garbage bags. And it also says 10 black garbage bags. But I asked the people from my school, they just said they don't know why they put so many on there. So I'm just taking, oh, so I'm just taking, I've got a little bag here. I'll show you what's inside of it. I'm taking just four big garbage bags and then this little bag which the garbage bags are in. I also have, which I need to take, a like plastic bowl for my dinner, a little spongy scrub to clean the plates and then I also have like this cup mug type thing to put my drinks in because we're making food and stuff like soup. I don't really know what we're making but we need to bring our own knives and forks and cutlery and plates and everything so now i've also got this plastic plate and inside of here again i have another one of these scrubby sponges i have a knife a fork and a spoon and two tea towels but i'm not going to pull them out because i'll probably never get them back in i'll just pull one out i've got two tea towels i've got this little head torch thanks to Molly for giving me this from when she went on camp so the list also says that I need some toiletries and we're not having any showers so I don't need some shampoo or conditioner or anything. However, I do need, I've got my deodorant, I've got some body spray, I thought I'd bring this because we're not having a shower for two days so I don't want to stink. And then I have a hairbrush, I have a toothpaste, the toothpaste, I have a toothbrush and some toothpaste. I have some band-aids, I have two hair ties and some bobby pins, and then I think that's all I have right now for my toiletries. Now I also have some medication, but I actually have to hand that in to the teachers, so won't be needing to pack that for right now. Let me put this in my toiletries bag. I think the final things on here are two drink bottles, because on the first day we'll be needing to supply ourselves with our own lunch and water, so I also need to grab a reusable lunch box, but Got two drink bottles here. And then that's it. I forgot to mention, but the school will also be supplying us with a rainproof jacket, which is apparently very sturdy and good. And also some rainproof overpants, which I have no clue what that means, but there's some, they're supplying us with that. So now it's time to pack. Okay, so let's start packing. I've got this nasty bag here. Thanks Charlotte for the bag. Put it all in. Jump is in first. Jeez, I don't know if I can fit this all in here. Yeah. How have I made everything fit? I don't think I'll be taking the shorts because it's freezing. Damn. And then finally, last thing, the torch. And I have, do have my sleeping bag there, don't mind my dog, I do have my sleeping bag there but we took it out and we can't fit it back in so we'll do that later. Let's zip up the bag. 
there we go. We're at camp. Bye, guys. Just oh, this is heavy. Oh, this is not going to be comfortable walking around this. <laughs> So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. That was my pack with me for my year eight camp. I think I'm pretty prepared for this camp. I've got a lot of stuff in my bag. If you guys are going on camp soon, I hope it doesn't rain. And if it does, I hope you stay warm and safe. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.